came here today, I asked the community from China McD to uh, ask us a couple of questions that they have for Kevin Nash. I looked over all the questions and picked the top three. You know, there were a lot of questions submitted. Uh, the very first question comes from a user called uh, Dark Phoenix. He asked, what were the reasons that uh, you didn't do any more TV following your last rumble? Uh, it seems like everybody was very into your return. I don't know. I, don't, I never really asked either. I don't know why they, uh, why they didn't bring me back. I guess they were saving me for SummerSlam. I don't know. I guess, you know, and they used me then. But, uh, I signed a Legends deal and they brought me back for Rumble. I think as anything else, it just they use you, you know, and you kind of fit a creative, uh, creative niche. Makes sense. That's uh, probably the most popular question that you probably yeah, see when you yeah, exactly. Questions. I wanted to know the answer to that question. I, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mullet ninety nine. He said, "What is your most memorable moment of the NWO stable days?" I think that I would probably have to say that when, when I actually got the first check for Turner for two weeks' work, and it was just like I knew that that check was going to be coming every two weeks for like five years. I just went like, I can get a bigger house. Because <laughs> when I worked for Vince in that era, like your WrestleMania check was basically how you, you know, how, you, how your year went. And you couldn't, I mean, I lived in a little track home in, uh, in Phoenix, 2100 square foot little house. And that was, of course, we went big and then we realized you buy a big house in Phoenix, get air conditioning, so that wasn't a very smart thing to do. That's what got to clean it. <laughs> So we went small, and so uh, no, that was just the that was the, the, the biggest thing was just having financial support. Uh, I guess that will be a memorable moment for anyone. Yes, <laughs> uh, get a lot louder. <laughs> I, the last question would come from one of their administrators, his name is Spin. Uh, he wanted to know um, uh, exa how they would have made it feel to play uh, the, the villain in the Teenage, Teenage yeah. Mutant Ninja Turtles. In it. I think it was Super Super Shred. Yeah. Um, that was the first movie I ever did, so I mean, it was my first time on a movie set, uh, my first time um, being treated like a human being, being involved in entertainment. <laughs> so I had been uh, Mohawk, Ozzed, and uh, had a pretty, pretty rough little run there for a while, but uh, no, it was just, uh, I never had, I, I, because I was, like Ninja Turtles were, like, it wasn't during my childhood, so I didn't know the significance of Ninja Turtles until now, years later, when I still, on a quarterly basis, you know, get residual checks, and it's like people, you know, like the Shredder character. Well, they definitely like it because I know whenever promoting like events like this and talking about you, if I might say wrestler and actor, and I'll name Magic Mike and Rock of Ages and Longest Yard, it's inevitable. I get somebody that'll tweet or comment and say, you forgot Shredder. They are yeah. so offended if you don't <laughs> mention the first Shredder, one. Shredder, another thing I learned, if you ever watch that, there's a scene, the scene starts where the, it's the camera and it's behind my hand. So you're looking out from the dock into the water and Shredder's, the first shot is Shredder's hand is this, does this, and claws down on, on the thing. It's all one movement, you know. I must have punched through this plywood that wasn't really scored, like, to my hand blood. I mean, they had to stop shooting. My wife was there that day and she said, do you think they're ribbon yet? And I said, I think they are. <laughs> like, I shot all day Sunday with just our skeleton crew and a, and a second at unit director, put my hand through a piece of wood all day long. That was my, uh, my first day of shooting. Uh, speaking of movies, just like one, one last question. Uh, there were a lot of talks revolving around this question too. People want to know what happened to the role on the Hunger Games, the sequel. They went, they, they added uh, some Philip Seymour Hoffman, who comes with a very high uh, salary, and all the roles that they said they were going to do out of LA, out of LA casting, went to local hires, which means it's like scale plus 10%. You pick up your hotel, you pick up your food, and I don't live in Atlanta, so that would have meant that I was basically working for free, which I could probably do it just as well. Well, make sure.
sure you check out Cynamic D. If you're not familiar already, check it out. CynamicD.com slash CSR. He's Stone. That's Kevin Nash. I'm Justin LaBar. Enjoy the Royal Rumble. Cynamic D is developing a brand new game called Ring Veteran. Be sure to check it out at ringveteran.com. This is going to be the most competitive wrestling game ever made. Check it out. Thank you for watching this very special episode of the Cynamic Fix with Kevin Nash. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.